This is the part of our program where Five Weeks always shows us its heart. And so, as we always do, I'd like to ask you guys to help us support a very worthy cause today. Um, whether you understood or followed or were on one side or the other of the whole verdict that came down a year ago, I don't think it matters where you stood on that. I think what matters is a young man lost his life, tragically. And as a father of three, I don't know if I can deal with that. And the Trayvon Martin Foundation, as we've come to learn, is doing some wonderful things to raise awareness of youth violence and to help the victims of youth violence. And I think that's something we can all agree on. So what I'd like to ask you guys to do today, as we always do, is help us out, help us raise some money for a very worthy cause. And I'd like to introduce Trayvon's mom, Sabrina Fulton, and Executive Director of the Foundation, Kim McKay. Good morning, Five Minutes family. How are you this morning? Good. It is our distinct honor and pleasure and a privilege to be here with you this morning. I am Kim McCray, the Executive Director of the Trayvon Martin Foundation. And as I look around, my heart is warmed and moved by seeing so many of you here today for your event. But I just want to quickly share with you that the Trayvon Martin Foundation was created after Trayvon's death. And Tracy and Sabrina Fulton, they turned their hurt into advocacy by helping other families. And as a result, we know that Trayvon is gone, but we are here and we are still here to make a difference because of people like you, because of your support, because of your prayers. And I wanted to share with you that our foundation is under the Miami Foundation. They are our financial stewards because it is so important that the resources that we receive on behalf of the foundation, that the money is used appropriately. It is very important to us that that happens. The Miami Foundation, everything falls under that. That's the auspices of our organization. I just wanted to quickly share with you so that you just get a quick glimpse of how the resources are used. In Miami, less than a month ago, a 12-year-old little girl was preparing for school. Two days before the start of school, she was shot in the head as she was getting her hair done. And as soon as we learned about that situation, we reached out to that family immediately and wanted to know what could we do to help. They needed help burying their little girl. The Trayvon Martin Foundation was there for that family, and we will be there for other families. We work directly, thank you. We work directly with the funeral home, so we wanted to make sure, we always make sure that the situation is as the family has shared with us. So instead of the resources going to the family, we work directly with the funeral homes, with the Trayvon Martin stipend. So I just wanted to share one quick story with you about how some of the resources are used. It is my privilege, Ms. Sabrina Fulton, a hard-working mother, Ms. Sabrina Fulton, she always says in one million years, she would have never thought that she would be in this situation. But the goal of our foundation, it is not the verdict that will define her son's legacy, but it will be the great work of the Trayvon Martin Foundation.
It's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Mm. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. I truly believe in that verse. I truly believe in that verse. Let me just tell you about an average family with an average mother and average kids. With an average job working for the housing agency, an average car, an average, just, just an average lifestyle. Went on vacations to average places. I don't think it was anything different about me. I do know that God selected our family. God chose us. He handpicked Trayvon for whatever reason, and that verse says, lean not unto your own understanding. So I'm not going to try to understand why it happened. I just know it happened, and I can't just sit at home and cry and do nothing. I have to make positive change for other kids, for other children. Let me just tell you, Five Wings, that it's people, it's people and organizations like yours that support us, that gives us the strength to keep fighting, to keep moving on. Let me just go back to the day that they read the verdict. And that uh, I had absolutely um, just 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 absolutely trusted in the justice system that they would see that this was an un an unarmed child. Trayvon had just turned 17, February 5th. This happened February 26th. So he had been 17 for three weeks. Still a little playful. Was talking on the telephone. Went to buy a drink and some candy. That shows you his mentality. These things I don't have to make up. I lived in the house with him. So just to know that he was on the telephone at the time that this occurred, and just to know that he was walking from the store, that he was minding his own business, he wasn't the criminal that people said that he was. Yes, sure, he had ups and downs, but every kid does. Let me just tell you that it does my heart good to see all of you come out, um, to know that you have strong co-founders that are linked together. <laughs> they thought enough of my situation, my tragic death with my son, to bring us here, to speak to you even for a few minutes. It means a lot. It means a lot to the foundation. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for having us here. Thank you, Orlando. I have no issues with Florida. I love Florida. I still live in Miami, have no intentions of moving. I visit a lot of different places. I talk to a lot of people. But Florida is my home. Thank you. Guys, and as you know, whatever you do, we do in kind. So let's do what we can to help this organization. Thank you.